Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So I just want to come in real quick to talk to you about something that's really been irritating me that I've been seeing around on YouTube. I understand this whole FTC, COPA, COPA, whatever it is, got everyone scared or everyone rethinking their channel. That's fine. If you want to recreate your channel or delete it, that's up to you. That's on you. But stop with the clickbait because when you do that, it pisses people off because now you got one title, but your video is about something else. Okay. For example, if you are thick, if you want to leave YouTube, then leave. Okay, fine. But in your in your title, if you're saying, "Oh, I decided to leave YouTube because of Copa, Copa, the FTC," and then when I go to click on your video, you're talking about, "Oh, but I'm not leaving. I'm just." telling you how I'm going to revamp my channel. That's very misleading because people are already looking for information. People are searching for information about this, this, this stuff that's going on. People are trying to figure out why are you leaving? What is it that your channel is doing that you're bringing new people to, to your channel because they want to figure out, okay, what is it that you're doing and why you have to leave? But then you say you're not going to leave. It's misleading to us. It's like, I'm a, you know, I do a variety of things. I do crafting, I do hauls, I do a whole bunch of stuff. My channel's not only about one thing. I have a different way of changing it if I need to change it. You get what I'm saying? If I want to talk about this situation, I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not going to put a misleading title in my video for anything. Whatever my video is about, that's what my title is going to be about. But I'm really getting tired of these clickbait videos that I've been coming across because they'll have you, they'll have something to, to, to strike you to get your attention because this is going on. But as soon as you listen to it, oh, well, you know, I don't know much about it. Um, mm, e, uh, you sound like a robot. You don't know what you're talking about. It's irritating. Okay. If you have the information, talk about it. Don't mislead people. Don't do that. I mean, if you decide to leave YouTube, no one can tell you to stay or go. It's up to you as your channel. Fine. And if you want to explain why you're leaving, then explain that. But don't say that I'm leaving and then in your video, you're talking about something about, oh, I'm not leaving. I didn't decide to leave, but I just want to let you know what's going on. Okay, so why do you, why do you say you're leaving? You know, it, it's just really irritating because this whole thing has people stressed out to the max. I'm not too stressed about it, but I am concerned about it. And I have a lot of people that I was cool with leave YouTube, shut their channel down because of this. You know, I I can't tell you how many people that won't be doing YouTube videos anymore and I enjoy their channel. You know, yes, some of them are still on Instagram. Some of them just closed out all this social media together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you do that, don't mislead people because this is not the time to be playing games. It's the time really to be helping people to get the information out there. There are some channels who think they know everything about the situation and don't know nothing. There are some people who I've came across that sat there and sound like a robot. Ooh, beep, bop, boo, because they don't know what is going on. They just guessing. I don't need anyone to guess. If you got some strong information, I only came across two channels that had solid facts, strong information, and something that I wanted to hear. Okay? I didn't they didn't say, well, I guess and I think and I know. You know they didn't do all of that. They didn't say, well, I'm closing my channel, but then I'm not closing my channel. It's it's none of that. This is like a really stressful time because YouTube been on some BS, but now they're on some extra BS. And now this is going on. So we all have to be careful and be cautious with our channel. But if you've given out false or misleading information, that is not cool at all. And you need to stop because it's not cool. Are you going to use the FTC and this COPA to, just to get views to your channel? And then when somebody click on your channel, it's like, it's like, you know, crickets. You don't know what you're saying or you're saying something totally different. That's irritating to me. So I just wanted to stress my opinion about that. Um, I don't know if you guys experienced it or came across some of those videos. I have, and it, it's just stressful. I Now I'm really like, how can I say it? I'm really apprehensive about clicking on a video because it's like they all doing the same thing. They all saying the same thing. So I'm just going to leave it alone 
and wait to further notice and see what's going to happen. I did change up. I did take off my kids that I had on here. I took my kids off. I took my grandkids off. I took my niece off. Um, my channel is not for children anyway, but since I can't no longer share that part of my life, my family, I will have to just take it off and just, you know, do what I've been was doing. If some of my crafting is going to appeal to children, then there's just some things that I will not show or I just will not do. But I have other things that I can do on my channel and talk about and you probably will see a change as well because I am, I'm not a person I'm I'm not a person that's for kids. I'm not for kids. I'm just not. Things that I do are not for children. But anyway, we can't stop kids. No matter what we do to our channel, there's no way in the heck we're going to stop kids from getting on watching us. Okay? They say bright colors appear to children, snacks and cereal. Grown folks eat snacks. Grown folks like cereal. Grown folks like bright colors. So, I mean, there's nothing that we really can do that won't attract kids. Let me tell you something. These kids out here love grown-up stuff. Okay? Some of these kids love grown-up things. And they're going to find a way to watch it. They're going to find a way around everything like they do everything else. So this, to me, is just... I don't know how far it's going to go or what's going to happen. I'm not trying to get fined because of some parent who can't control their kids. That's just not what I... I said before, I'm not for kids. I took all my stuff that could appear to children off and it is what it is but you know parents they need to control their kids as well stop giving these kids the iphone and, and get off if you have a youtube you know page you know log off of yours and let them go find something else let them go over to disney or whatever else they're doing but we can't stop children from doing nothing we, we can check their phones and the ipads or or, or or tablets or whatever we could do but they're always going to find a way to watch grown stuff. If you don't notice it, <laughs> kids like grown-up material anyway. Kids love grown-up stuff. So, how are we going to defeat that? But anyway, you know, if you got real information, share real information. Please stop with all this clickbait stuff because it's ridiculous. And it's really... How can I say it? It's, it's, it's ridiculous and it's just, I'm over it. You know, Get people want to hear real information, not false stuff. No one wants a clickbait right now. You guys take care. Have a great Saturday.